Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That is uh, Monocliffe Provincial Park. Hi, how are you today? Um, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Yes, today I'd like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from Proverbs 25 verse 18. It says, telling lies about others is as harmful as hitting them with an axe, wounding them with a sword, or shooting them with a sharp arrow. Here's my poem. On telling lies. Do you ever resort to hiding the truth? Telling lies never bring good fruit. When you attack someone else's reputation, you are hurting others in your salvation. Lying is as harmful as hitting others with an axe. You have no right to change the facts. Telling lies is like wounding them with a sword. Doing it is living in the standards of the world. Satan lied at the beginning of mankind when he enticed Eve to eat a fruit from the forbidden tree. He conned and tempted her to defy God so she can have the wisdom and power that he has. He made God appear bad by defying the boundary that he gave for Adam and Eve to follow, to refrain from eating from the tree of knowledge. By violating the boundary, they started lying to, to cover up their disobedience. Lies breed more lies and other sins. When we decide to cover up or make up a story that is untrue, we hurt ourselves and others. The Bible tells us how detrimental lying is. If you tell lies about others, you are almost like hitting them with an axe, wounding them with a sword, or shooting them with a sharp arrow. Prayer. Lord, protect me from lying. Reflection. What was the biggest lie you ever told someone that hurt others? Um, I cannot think of anything right now, but um, I think... There was a time in, in probably for 30, 40 years ago that I lied about doing the right thing because um, I was involved with a married man and I tried to lie to him and uh, pinned him down so that he would go back to his wife. So I think it didn't really hurt him, but it, it probably hurt him because he didn't want to leave me, but it probably did good to the other people because it also made him come back to his family. So lying is a very dangerous thing. It's almost like killing somebody when you lie and talk about other people. That's why I think the Bible talks to us and warns us so much about gossiping. Because when you gossip, you're actually like murdering somebody else's character. So... Avoid lying and try as much to um, confess whenever you, even if it's just white lies. There's no such thing as white or, you know, lie is a lie. It is untrue. So God doesn't want us to lie. So I invite you to live a lie-free life. Thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day.